Okay, guys, we're back. Just wanted to show you a finished end. And now this is where we finished off in the last video. So we gotta make sure that we put on our, our pieces. Out of the package, you have the sleeve with the collar, with the threads on it, that goes last. This part, you can really put it any time because it has a, a slit in the middle. And now we have this part here. I've never actually attempted to do it after splitting the wires, but I mean, let's give it a go. We've got to get it on anyways, right? We could probably tin the wires first. Let's try that. So this series is basically an attempt to do these wires uh, myself because I, I've watched other videos and guys say how easy it is, you know, save yourself money. And uh, I would say it's relatively easy. I wouldn't say it's a complete novice, but if you have the right tools, which I'm going to leave in the description, it's definitely going to help. Now, why do I have this? This is an old headphone amp that I blew. You know, I kept it, figuring one day I might fix it, whatever. I have that in a small vise, okay? Uh, this is a trick I've seen from other videos where you can use it to plug in and hold your parts in place. I'm gonna do that for this video. It seems to be really stable. If you have an old pedal kicking around, whatever, you know, something that you don't mind, maybe it might get hot internally. I mean, you could use that. You can use a vise. You can try using the alligator clips on this stand that I have for soldering. It's up to you, uh, whatever works for you. This is the solder we're gonna be using. I got it at Princess Auto. It's, uh, it's supposed to be no lead. Uh, this is what we're going to use to just dip our um, soldering gun into. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clean the tip of the soldering gun. Add a little bit of solder to the tip. And we're going to start with this one here. Touch it. It'll get warm. And then just slowly work it down to the tip. Rinse and repeat to the next one. This is the blue wire, which is the cold, which is pin number three uh, on an XLR, but we're doing quarter inch TRS. So the blue one will go on top, the hot goes in the middle, and the one I'm, I'm tinning right now, this is called tinning the wires. This is your ground. Okay. Good. The ends aren't perfect perfect, but that's okay because we're going to trim them. So now we've tinned them, we move the alligator clip out of the way. Now we're going to try and feed these through. They're still a little warm, but not too warm. And yeah, it'll fit. Okay, good. So that is helpful. Oh, the insulation is a little bit... There we go. A little bit warm. Haha. <laughs> So yeah, don't do what I just did. Try and fit this piece on first, okay? That's like a big mistake. If I would have soldered onto the connector, you wouldn't have been able to get this on. So effectively, we got this on. I'll go ahead and connect this piece with the, the three teeth facing away from the wires that you're gonna solder. Okay, now that is out of our way now. Good, so you have this brass piece at the bottom which is going to be your ground. So it'll look like this. In the middle will be your hot, hot in the middle there, and then your blue on top here. So we're gonna do some trimming. This is another tool for wire stripping. Uh, I'll go ahead and trim the ends. I'll leave the blue one for last you can always take more away if you need to. So there's your ground. Ground. Hot. I'll start trimming a little bit more. Actually, there we go. Maybe a little off the red. 
ground, hot, a little bit more off the hot, just a little bit more, a little bit more off the ground. So now we have ground, hot, cold, which we're doing last, right? A little bit off of the hot and we'll leave ground as is. This should fit really snug. Ground, hot, okay, I think we're good there. Looks like some of the wires, some of them came unraveled a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and retin the hot connector because we don't want to have issues. down the road, right? Nice. Beauty. Okay, so we'll start with the ground right there. We're gonna clean our soldering gun and we're gonna go ahead and add some solder to the tip and we're going to touch down to where we want to add that solder. Move my chair, sorry about that noise. We're going to reheat this area. I should probably be holding it with my other tool. Okay, and it's cooled down and it's, it's pretty good on there. It's tight, it's strong. Next we have our hot pin, which is in the center. Trim a little more so that the wires aren't bent. I don't like how they're a little bit bent, but trim a little bit more. Leave the blue one for last. That uh, is pretty good right there. This one I'm gonna hold with my tool. First, we're gonna clean the solder. Get a little on the tip. Hold the wire where we want it. Beauty. Nice and hot. Turn it over, make sure that this isn't touching because it should not be touching. So that's okay, the solder break loose. We're gonna go ahead and straighten this out a bit. Okay, take some of the solder off like that. want it to go. Add a little bit of solder to the tip. Hold our wire in place.
sure we get it in there nice. Hold it, let it cool. It's gonna harden. These wires are not touching. And that is a strong connection now, good. Finally, we left the blue one last. Looks like we're gonna trim quite a bit off. We'll start with this much. Turn it a little bit, a little bit downward. Oh, that, that is really nice right there. We wanna be able to hold it with our, our tool. Get a little bit of solder on. Area we're soldering to. And we're gonna hold the wire in place. Let it cool. I'd be confident with just a little bit more solder on the tip of this. But remember, once we heat it up, it could melt. So we're gonna hold it in place with our, oops, sorry about that guys. That's much better. I'm more confident with that connector. It's not going anywhere. The connectors look strong. So now we'll slide our sleeve up and this will go this way with this part facing down to protect our wires, right? Okay, it's not hot. So it'll look like this. Okay. Now we introduce this collared piece. Try to get it in place as much as possible. And you wanna slide this through there. And it'll come through like that. Now you slide up the threaded piece to be honest, this part is a pain in the ass, so I might not do it in the video, but it's just like threading a, a bolt. It's lefty loosey, righty tighty. But once you get to the end, if it's too tight, you can leave it for a day and come back and retighten it because the wire is gonna be into position better. Sometimes I use my shirt. I mean, it might be off camera, but to help me grip it better. to be able to twist it on. And then once you got it on there, you should be good to go. So that's not too bad. Tomorrow I can tighten it up again. There's the other end. See this one here, I'm waiting to, to tighten her down. A little bit more. We can try again now. Oh yeah, she's going a little bit. So anyways guys, that's the Nitric Gold Connector. Uh, I'll leave the part number in the description. The Mogami Quad Core, made in Japan. It's supposed to be the best stuff. Uh, in part three, I might leave a part three, I might not. I think I'll leave it as a two-part series. Uh, go ahead, like, follow, subscribe. Um, check out my music. And I hope, hope you guys liked it. That is a hobbyist uh, do hobby hobbyist doing uh, nitro gold connectors on Megami 2534. Okay, I'll end the video there. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching.